What do you get when you combine a broken engagement, a penniless law student, and a stubborn landlord? In the New Jersey courts of the 1970s, you'd get the landmark case of Sommer v. Kreidel, which helped change the course of landlord-tenant law by requiring landlords to mitigate their damages. James Kreidel graduated from college, enlisted in the Army, and served as a counterintelligence officer during the Vietnam War. After he was discharged, Kreidel enrolled in law school and was engaged to be married. In March 1972, Kreidel signed a two-year lease on an apartment in Abraham Summers' building. Before moving in, Kreidel paid Summer $690 to cover a security deposit plus the first month's rent. Two months later, Kreidel hadn't moved in. In a letter to Summer, Kreidel explained that he'd planned to share the apartment with his new bride and that the couple's parents were expected to pay the rent. But the engagement was broken and the wedding was off. Kreidel explained that he'd just left the army, was attending law school, and had no money. Under the circumstances, he couldn't take the apartment. He asked Summer to give him a break by letting him out of the lease, and he offered to let Summer keep the initial $690 for his trouble. Summer didn't respond to Kreidel's letter. Instead, he left the apartment vacant for 15 months, making no effort to relet it and even turning away one prospective tenant. Summer finally leased the apartment to a new tenant in September 1973. Summer sued Kreidel for $5,865, which was the rent that accrued before the new tenant moved in. Kreidel argued at trial that by leaving the apartment vacant, Summer had failed to mitigate his damages and therefore wasn't entitled to recover. Kreidel won the trial, but the appellate division reversed. Kreidel asked the New Jersey Supreme Court to review the case. 